G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my 50 cent collection book here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. <coughs> Excuse me, and we have only a few more coins to get. We're looking for that Centenary of Federation, the Australian Capital Territory. We have the others, and then we're looking for the last two Centenary Federations, Tasmania and Victoria. Both usually pretty easy for me to find here in Melbourne, but let's get straight into the coins as I go through. I'll just mainly be looking through the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. As you're aware, the standard type is the coat of arms, and I'll be going through all of those at the end looking for coins that come from years of low mintage 1985 and 1993 and then also for years where there was no 50 cent piece coat of arms issued into circulation 1986 87 89 1990 92 and 2005 and here we have the 2001 centenary of federation but the <clears throat> the coat of arms sorry from 1912 and it is a higher minted so it goes up onto the common commemorative row and so here we have our next common commemorative the Commonwealth Games Brisbane from 1982 and another Commonwealth Games Brisbane so when we go through the coins, I'll also be looking at coins from 2010. If I see those dates, I'll look for a rotation. If I see the date 2014, I'll look for a crop circle error. And then generally, just looking for the commemorative. There's a 2000 coin, so that'll be a millennium. And with the 2000 millennium, we look for a incused variety with a centre cross in the flag is pushed into the design. This is a regular one though, so it goes with the common commemoratives. And there's a 2010 Celebrate What's Great, Australia Day, Celebrating Australia Day, 2010. And there's another. Sorry, there's a frog in my throat. Just wait a second. Thank you. Much better. Another Centenary Federation. And so not many common commemoratives so far in this hunt. And it's a little bit smaller than my usual hunt, so it was very difficult to get 50 cent pieces this week. For one reason or another, I had to go back a couple of times to be able to get just uh, as much as I have got. And then we have a 1995 Weary Dunlop coin, the 50th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. So it's been pretty tough to get coins this week for some reason. The machine's either been down or it's been empty. There's another Brisbane coin. Well, that's three rolls in, so we'll just speed up a, a bit or two. Uh, there's not really much going on, but we'll stop if we see any new coins, which I'm hoping there will be some Centenary Federations in today's coins. So let's speed up from now. And there is a very dirty, <coughs> excuse me, very dirty 2003 uh, Australia's Volunteers. Barely see the design there under the, all that muck.
Ah, an Eddie Marbo. There's a nice keeper we've got for the book. And now that the Red Poppy Fund has been achieved, this will be a keeper for the collection. That's very, very nice. Eddie Marbo. Haven't seen one of those for a little bit. There's a 1998, and that's Bass and Flinders. It's in pretty good grit, pretty good nick, high grade, but it is still a common commemorative, so we'll go down on the common commemorative row. There's a 2010 coat of arms, and we'll check that for rotation. For the first time today, we have the 2005 Remembrance Coin, the 60th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. We can fit that there on the top row. And there for the first time today, we have a 2005 secondary student, secondary school student competition winner for a 50 cent design for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. And there, for the first time today, we have the International Year of the Family from 1994. Check that for a wide date, but it seems to be fine. And then for the first time today, we have the 1977 Silver Jubilee. Oh, look at that. Look at that inside there. I'm hoping that is a silver 50 cent piece and you are absolutely kidding me look at that a round silver 50 cent piece 1966 that is an outstanding find i saw that in there amongst there four five coins down and i was honestly thought that was going to be an international coin but look at that a 1966 round 50 cent piece they are they are still out there somewhere 
Wow. And this is the last roll too. And, uh, you know, based on uh, the fact that I couldn't get very many rolls, that's that's an outstanding, outst I can't believe that. That's outstanding. And you have a Captain Cook in the last roll. And there is... Whew, there's no way that that's not going to go in prior place in some book or another. But... Uh, Wow, I wonder if I can fit that in the 50 cent hole. We'll have to have a look when we're done. We've got Australia's Volunteers again. What a find. Wow. A 1981 Charles and Die. Not in bad nick. And then we have a Remembrance coin and another Centenary Federation. And what's the last one? 1984. So that is... Wow, that is it for today. Whew. Look at that. Silver. Wow. And then Eddie Marbo, they were the two key coins. I'll quickly go through the uh, coat of arms. I'll be back in a sec. Well, I'm back. The only other coin of note amongst the coat of arms was a changeover from 2016. So that's a common commemorative. But have a look at that. Finish that off. This has got to be the plum of the hunt. There's no doubt about it. Around 50 cent, 1966 silver, 80%. Honestly, as a noodler, there is nothing better. There's the other coin there as a marbo. That was going to be the plum of the hunt until the uh, round 50 cent piece came along. I've noodled uh, millennium year coins. of. I haven't noodled a 2010 rotation, and that certainly might be worth more in value, but for me, as a noodler, that is, it's nothing better. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up if you enjoy my content, and let me know what you're feeling, and tell me if you have noodled the round 50 cent piece out of circulation. I'll be back for more coins in a few days, so see you then. Bye.